All right, Jason Rissenheim. Maybe the coach of the weekend, I'm not sure. <laughs> Crazy weekend, Boston yeah. last night. Yeah. You drive here or train? Uh, we flew, actually. Flew. Yeah, me and Matt, we jumped on a uh, flight at, uh, I don't know, we Ubered at 3.30 or something like that so the, this morning to the airport, got in, and named her straight to the hotel. Let's <laughs> start last night, I guess. Yeah. American record in the 3K to kick it off. Yeah. Come on. Did that shock you? It was a little bonkers. Uh, I thought 7.30 to 7.32. Um, and so I was... It, it was better than I thought it would be, but I knew he was in really good shape. But yeah, 728 is fast. Apparently, he's telling Alicia 735. So yeah, well, yard. Uh, yeah, I don't know what goes on in his head sometimes, but uh, the guy's so good. So he's just a, he's a good competitor too. And he started doing the unzipping thing. I was like, I I don't know what was going on. I was a little worried, but uh, uh, but yeah, no, he was he was great. And then, uh, I mean, Mario was a couple seconds faster than I thought he would be too. Really good, uh, really good race, big PB for him. And then yeah, Joe, I mean, what can I say? It was, he, he like, that was the most I've ever seen Joe get out of himself. So that was pretty awesome. I mean, 254, right? Yeah. yeah. It's really good. Yeah. That, I, I was putting my daughter to sleep. I missed the 5K. My brother texted me 1251. I thought it was a joke. Yeah. And then I saw he, he broke the record, but I didn't see the end of the race. Yeah. And it was crazy. I mean, yeah. Woody's kick is like out of this world. Yeah. But Joe made the race. I mean, yeah. I mean, he was super like focused on on this race, and so I said, as soon as Ollie's gone, you're just gonna have to go and hammer. And he did. He just started hitting, uh, you know, thirty point every single lap. And I was looking off splits, and over the last few laps, every I'm just seeing twenty three or fifty three, twenty three, fifty three. I was like, oh my god! I was like, for, for, for about two minutes, I was like, if they both break the American record in one night, I'm gonna lose my my brain. But. Uh, but he was hurting really bad. It was when he came through two times, uh, second to last lap. I was like, he he's like, looks like he's really going for it. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to pick him up off the track afterwards, man. He was like a dead body. It was uh, it was pretty pretty cool to see him go that place. I mean, coming in, yeah. What what do you think he could run? I, I thought he would break 13. Um, I thought like you know just under you know 1258 or something like that. But he snagged my PB, so. Oh, wow. I, it was it was better than I thought it would super be. Super shoes, super shoes. Yeah. Super athletes. Yeah. How much? Yeah. I don't want to like diminishing performance. How much do you think the track and the shoes make? I mean, I've never I never ran on BU's track, so I have nothing to say about those. I guess I don't know. I mean, uh, I but you know, I I think I think the shoes do help for sure, but. It's just less at the level that these guys are at, for sure, than you see at like a collegiate or high school level. I mean, they're so efficient, so powerful that it's less, and so and makes more difference. The longer yeah, that's it one goes. thing my brother's pointing. It's like the world records. I mean, five and ten maybe, but like, yeah. you're not seeing guys running I, way I, faster in the honestly, mile. But the college guys are running I, honestly, a lot faster. Honestly, that might be a lot of people to disagree. With, but I think at this like elite level, it's only one second in the fifteen hundred. Like at the best of the best guys, five k might be five or six seconds. At this level, I think when you get up to college, it's, it's definitely more. But these guys are just already efficient machines, and so uh, I think it's harder to get that kind of gain with something like that. Okay, just fast forward to today. Alicia wins the mile. Yep. Thoughts yeah. on that race? Yeah, I mean, I, I honestly I didn't know if she was like super excited to do it or not, but we did. I was like, well, we need to get a good workout in. And, so let's go here and do the mile, come back, and we'll do a bunch of the 3K and at 10K pace. And, and I was like, I didn't just, I said, don't, let's not go out too fast. And of course, the pace went out really fast, but like, she just grinded out, and it was a good, it was good for her just to, you know, be in a race like that. We, I mean, she's never really been in races like that in, in miles, so it was good for her. We're trying to work on that a little bit and closing that, you know. I mean, if she's going to do the 5K more, you know, we, we still aren't 100% on that. Like, maybe she does the 5K this year. Um, she's got really good at 3K, 5K distance as well, but um, I just think it was important for her, and so I think mean, she could have run faster too, but I mean, yeah, like I say, like, she ran 90 miles last week, and you know, so she's, uh, she's all in for Melrose, feeling good, and then, uh, so I was really happy with that. Just that had a little bit of like, her hamstring was tight uh, on Wednesday, and I was like, let's come here. Well, she did her pre-meet stuff, and things seemed to be okay, but I was like, you know what, let's just wait two weeks. And, do it at Dr. Sanders. She wanted to race, but I was like, we're just going to do the smart thing. So, um, so, and then, yeah, Cinto, Cinto actually got a national record in, for Italy. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, uh, uh, she was a little disappointed. I think she got detached a little bit. Um, and, uh, but I think for her and Sage, we haven't really done anything really hard like what we just did with 
with the team, uh, some sustained effort. So I think this is going to go a long ways for Melrose for both of them. And then Sage, I mean, yeah, there's a hard record for a reason, I guess. Yeah, everyone sort of assumed it was going to go. I don't know why I thought that. I really like. I just think it's an awkward time, you know, too, for like, like say, like most most of these girls do better the more they race, and to step right out and do it. I mean, maybe if you've done like three or four eight hundreds over the winter, maybe. But Sage gets better every race in that discipline. So I think, uh, yeah, she looked good coming off, and she's been running seventy miles a week. I mean, she's been training a lot. Really? Yeah, yeah. We've really gone in on on that to try to prepare her for the 1500 and so so is that the thinking this year the 1500 no number? not necessarily but just eventually i mean she's so good this year in the eight, i think we'll stick there probably but we'll see i don't know and the have the thousand is that something you guys came up with or it was on the schedule or uh, you know like i hadn't i think this was that was one of the first races we really looked on uh ray said we're gonna do it i was like i asked her hey would you want to be do this it could be a good first race before if we do Melrose, and she was like, yeah, that sounds like fun. And it was just kind of like a good thing to say, hey, let's let's do this as the first race and see how things are going. And so she got excited about it. So I was like, that, that sounds, like a, sounds like a good idea. So it's good, yeah. So you race them all in a mile. You got your milers just at Alicia Sage. Who wins? That'd be a tough Or you can't say as a coach. That'd be a tough one. I mean, I don't know. I think we could put in a wicked DMR or a four by mile on the women's side. Uh, six. I would say, like, Josette has, like, a really, very good skill set. Like, she surprised me a lot, because um, you don't really know. Like, she ran three, I mean, she ran 359, but she also ran 1451. So, over the last couple months, everything she's done has kind of surprised me. So, um, I think, uh, I think eventually she'll go to the 5K, uh, but, but she's quick, too. You know, she just, she's definitely more aerobic, I, I guess, than, uh, than I thought she would be. So, uh, but uh, Alicia's, I mean, in the, in the right race, I think Alicia can run 420 or close to a 421, you know, like, I mean, if she's just paced out in a good race, I mean, like, like that's just too fast probably for her to get out, you know, 63 or something like that, so, um, probably for her, that's not the way she's going to do that, you know, like, she's going to have to run it very, you know, very straight across the board, and, but she was great, I mean, like, really good to practice holding off some people and stuff, so I think it sets her up good for Melrose. And outside of the performances, I think the best thing I heard this weekend, I think Yared said it, you guys are going to Madrid to race? Yared and Mario are, yeah, so they're uh, they're heading straight from Melrose over, and uh, they're going to do the 1500 there, so it'll be exciting. I just think we need our guys racing, like yeah. fans. Yeah, I mean, so we, some people, Melrose is the big race for most of us, but I think we'll go... Uh, Madrid, those guys, uh, you know, like Ollie down under. Um, How did, did the thing come about because of Mario's connection or what? Kind of, yeah. I mean, I wanted to see Yard. Mostly, it, Mario didn't need to race indoors. Like, he's already ranked seventh in the world as a standard, all those things. But Yard, I wanted to bump his stand. Uh, I wanted to get his uh, ranking up so that there's a chance to get him some big Diamond League races. You know, like, and so he just needs a couple scores. And so that's a really good opportunity. And, and now he's in really good shape. So now it, it, it kind of checks a couple boxes now. But, yeah, I think uh, And then, I mean, the, we'll have people in the 10K, but March and April will be pretty quiet for us. And it seems like some groups don't race that much, but you're more I, get I, out there and race. I like I don't know, it. Like the I mean, Alberto model, I don't know if that's fair to call it that, but I like it. But as a I, I like journalist. It. I, I like it. I mean, I just don't like to talk. Not every race has to be, like, the end of the world. And, and so, like, even with this one with Sage, like, we didn't really do anything specific for it, but, like, it gives a good chance to see where we're at. I mean, it's, you have to come to the Armory, come to this meet. We came to this meet last year, and it's, I don't know, it's a good chance for them to do it. And I don't want to, I mean, we look at, look at the schedule and it, end of August in World Champs, we got to do something, you know, like we can't just train for the next eight months, and so we almost have two full, uh, two full years in here if you're really focused on this period of time, and we keep it a little tighter, but yeah, like it's, I think it's very useful to do indoors. Yeah, man, I think your athletes, the performances are showing it works. Yeah. And then also... I don't know, I'm in the media, but as a brand, you're out there a lot more. People are seeing you guys. I think it's good in that perspective. I, I think, yeah, and, and for them, like, I, I just, you know, it's going to give you confidence no matter what. Like, people can say all they want about the tracks and the super shoes and all that shit, but, like, if you got Joe 
goes and runs 12.54, I don't care what you put on his feet or what track it's on, that's going to give you confidence going into right. the next year. And that, and so that's what they try to do for them is build them off of each year. Not everybody's going to make a jump to 7.28, but I mean, for Joe, that's a big jump and that's going to give him the confidence. To, the big, like Joe, he went on 7.47. That's really fast. So now he, he knows he can do it. Yeah, okay, yeah here, here's the question for you. Which was better, 7.28? Or 1354. 1254. I mean, 728. I, I, I don't know. Who's that's, your athlete of the week? That sounds pretty. Who's fast. your athlete of the week? Uh, I guess if they had broke, both broke the record, that would be a really hard time. Right. But, you know, but uh, I mean, you are. You gotta give a guy an American record. But Joe, literally, I mean, I had to pick the guy off the track, and I. And I set him up, and I think he's fine, and I walked away. And someone yells at me, I turn around, and he's face down like he's on the track again. And, and so if a guy does that, man, that's sometimes it's not always the time that matters. It's like what they put out there on the track, and he really wanted it. And so I think that people got behind that, and that's the cool part. Yeah, it was great. And the group as a whole, how many people you got now? We are at 13 right now, so including Helen. And so I think... Uh, I mean, I don't want to say we're getting close to the max, but uh, we, we're getting there. Not, not, we're not going to grow as quick. And when you guys started, you had what? Eight. Yeah. That so. seems much bigger. Okay, but yeah. Yeah. everything, you're what, two years in? Two and a half? Two and a half years in now, yeah. Is it going as well as you could expect, or how do you? Oh, we're right. Yeah, we're doing stuff we thought we were going to be doing in three, four years from now. So, um, they're just incredibly talented athletes that train really hard and have a really good group atmosphere and they push each other every day and I think they just jumped up a level that I, I guess if I look back two and a half years ago I never would have thought it so they're uh, they kind of blow me away every day yeah, me too you're doing a good job I think you, I think you might have something to do with it thanks I appreciate it